This is Marie and I'm here with another mini video for you. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. And today we're going to have some fun with some opaque white ink. We're using B, 000, 12, 21, and 91. We're going to color this cute little image with a fairy on a swing. And we're going to have your left hand side in highlight and your right hand side will be in shadow. I try to be consistent between my background and my focal image. I'm putting my image on some paper to color. I always like to have some white paper underneath. And we're just going to start by laying down some color. I like to make sure I have color bumped up against my focal image so um, it does truly allow the, the image to pop more. It allows the image to come in the foreground. And you don't have to be real careful at this stage, just make sure you don't have white space in between. And I'm doing a little disclosure here. I have a dog snoring at my feet, a cat supervising on my table, three cats and uh, birds in the background, and 30 turkeys outside trying to mate. So I apologize if it uh, gets a little noisy. Now we're just blending out with this. Uh, and you, again, you don't have to be careful because you're going to be taking your colorless blender and just super saturating. You know how I tell you, I always have stock in colorless blender because I use a lot. I do confess, I keep a chow marker like the one you're seeing and, and I do fill it with um, some alcohol. I know they're not good for your markers but it's a chow and I feel I'm just using that as a dedicated one and alcohol is a lot cheaper than colorless blender and I'm not going to be saving these images forever um, so I do take a little shortcut there. Helps the budget. But if you're doing a, a important piece of art, uh, do, you know, stick to your colorless blender. We're just really soaking up that um, image with, or the background with our blender. Remember, uh, your colorless blender is poorly named. It is not a blender. It removes color somewhat. It moves it. it is, uh, it will shift it from one location to another. It really does not blend two colors. It just allows them to move and kind of merge. That's how we get our marbled, marbleized uh, backgrounds. Again, just blending out on those outer edges, allowing that color to just follow the, the moisture. Ink likes to flow where there is a, a wet background. So wherever you put background, your ink will shift in that direction. It's kind of um, called capillary flow. And it will just um, move, move and shift. You notice on our right hand side, we're using darker colors like B21, and then we move to we will be moving to B91. As you're moving up on that scale, um, your first actual number, uh, it kind of indicates how much gray you have in your image. So we're going to be putting more colorless blender on here, soaking it up, and adding some, I guess, some B91 now as well. Again, I like the, the colors that have the more uh, of a gray tone to it. Um, I, I like to have closest to my focal image. And then um, I add other colors uh, as I move outward. I go with less, um, less intensity and less, less gray. some 21 we're moving out a little bit more 
can always add more, can always darken your image. So I hope you can see that my right, your right hand side is getting a, a lot darker, like it's more in shadow, consistent with the focal image. And uh, you know, we're going to be using so much colorless blender on here that you don't have to worry exactly about the dots. We do dots when we do the stippled technique, but on this we're doing more of a marbleized <clears throat> So you won't have to worry, your colorless blender will just merge it all together. <clears throat> now here comes our, our magic colorless blender. And we're just blending outwards, softening the outer edges. Allowing them, and you know your ink will continue to move even though you have moved on to another area. If you have it wet, your ink will continue to move and shift. And don't be afraid about uh, holding your blender on. I know some of you have commented that um, you didn't know how long to leave it on there. I just leave it on sometimes for a while against my paper and just let the, the colorless blender flow. Uh, in. You don't want it to look like it's um, just dotted. On some, some times when you want to texturize you do that, but to marbleize you just get it really pretty wet. <clears throat> and you can always go back at this point, add more color, more colorless blender, whatever it is that you like. And now the fun starts. We're going to um, be taking some colorless uh, or some opaque white pretty soon and it comes in uh, a big round bottle and then they now have one out in a small bottle with a built-in brush. I believe it's the same ink, just a different um, method to uh, distribute. One is um, one has a tiny brush on it, which is always nice. That way I don't have to find my little um, fine-haired uh, brushes to do it. It's built in. Isn't that cute? I roll it a little. I don't really shake it a lot. And it has a tiny little brush. See how fine that is? But here I'm going to just take a big glob. On uh, other images, you remember, I would just put a tiny little dot of um, my, my white. But on this particular thing, we're wanting to have a lot of fun with opaque white ink. So just take it and put your finger and smash it down. Just have fun with it. It's almost like a mixed media technique. Just put it all over. It's going to give a very different effect than the tiny dots in the background that I um, usually use on my images. But this gives it kind of a really feathery um, look. And I, I really like the effect. Um, and again, this started with a mistake, like most of my things. I was bringing my um, white over ones to highlight and a big glob dropped in the background and so I smashed it trying to pick up some of it and it spread it out and I thought darn I really really like that. I'm just demonstrating here to show you how fine that um, uh, brush is. So there you go. I hope you just decide to have a lot of fun with your with your opaque white ink. <laughs>